Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Alexis Christ. Today, I have a really exciting video. We're, we're making something. We're doing another cooking video, except it's gonna be a little bit more challenging today. Last time I did a Chipotle bowl, and you know, it was a little bit, a little bit more trying than my typical food that I make, you know? So this time, we're stepping the game up. We're doing something a little bit more difficult. It's something that I crave a lot, and they have a sale on it uh, every Wednesday at Meijer. <laughs> but, it's Saturday, and we're making it at home. Sushi. First and foremost, I just want to show you what I got for the video. I needed to get quite a few things from the store, so I took I took a trip down to the Asian market, and I will give you a haul really quick. Okay, so I already have one of these. Okay. Um, I knew I had sushi rice, but I wasn't sure how much, so you know, I got some sushi rice. I got avocados. Ah, they're not that ripe. They were the ripest ones out of them, but they still aren't like super great. But that's okay. You know, glass half full. We still have them. Um, a big cucumber. It's actually pretty small, uh, if you ask me. And let's see. And then I got salmon. There was a lot of different types of fish. I was a little bit overwhelmed, so I just stuck to what I know. And I don't even. I don't. I don't know how to cut this or anything. So this is going to be a learning process. I've made sushi before, but I've always just used like imitation crab. So this is, I'm stepping my game up. This is going to be good. Oh, and the most exciting, I figured um, I'm going to learn how to make like sushi good today. I kind of already kind of sort of know how to do it. So I'm not going to watch a YouTube video or anything because that's too much work. So I'm just going to, you know, you, off the dome. But anyways, I decided that I'd probably be making sushi quite a bit. So I got this package of chops. Look how cute these are. <laughs> Beauty guru. Anyways, oh my god, they're so cute. And I already started using them because my kimchi. Um, but going to the Asian market was really super cool. We all could benefit from you know learning and experiencing other cultures. You know, brings me out of my little bubbles. With that being said, I think the first step that we're gonna do is cook the sushi rice, which I'm sure I could just cook it in my rice cooker, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it shows it's a picture of a rice cooker. I'm pretty sure chemistry is really good for you. I'm gonna look it up real quick so I can be sure. Health benefits of kimchi low in calories but packed with nutrients like iron, folate, and vitamin B6 and K. Anti inflammatory properties as well. Like, it's so like addicting. <laughs> I was doing so well. That's that. Okay. Why am I? A, I need a bib. This is ridiculous. Okay. Put it down. First thing we're gonna do is cook the rice. It says to do two cups for best results. So we'll, that's what I know. I normally cook two cups at a time. So how perfect is that? I had exactly two cups of rice, and I did not need to buy a whole. But you know, I'm gonna make sushi all the time though. So. It's gonna need to get it eventually. I'm gonna rinse it real quick. Just, you know. Oh, I just spilled so much of it. Nice going. Okay, and then it said a cup and, and a fourth of water for every cup of rice. So, two and a half cups. Okay, the rice is on, it's cooking. And now I'm guessing I'm gonna prep some stuff. So, okay, so, salmon, avocado, Cucumber. Also, I have these to try. Um, I figured I would try it like while the rice is cooking. It's like healthy ramen. It's just high in protein and low in carbs. It's kind of high in fat and it doesn't have the best fat. But yeah, it's got 21 grams of protein. As long as this is not what your diet consists of all of the time, you know, trying it. There's no harm in trying it. I want to try the roasted pork one, I think. Do you guys make ramen in the microwave or in the stove? on the stove? We're gonna start with the cucumber. <laughs> okay, why is it so slimy? <laughs> Should I like peel it or no? I will not. There's probably like a, a more proper way to do this. I guess a little life update. Um, I'm still in school. School's almost over. You know, I just go to community college. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my life, and just thinking about that really stresses me out. So I'm just actually going to stop talking about that. I know that I'm a hardworking person and will accomplish so many things. I'm probably not even going to cut the other one right now. I don't think I need to. I, I should have gotten, um, oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's already been six minutes. I'm going to cut two more. One more. When I used to make ramen, like, all the time when I was younger, I would take all of the water out of it, so it was just noodles, and I'd put, a, like, a slab of butter, and, like, garlic powder, and, like, just a bunch of stuff. Sometimes an egg, which, an egg is so good, but the rest of it, that does not, that makes me want to actually, the egg in the ramen sounds good, but the rest of it does not sound good. I'm excited for this one. I'm, I don't know if it's cool. Cut, cut a little bit more. Okay. I feel like this is good for right now. I'm gonna put this in my bag. I went to the gym and I was like, okay, I'm before I lift, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk on the treadmill and finish this damn book. So I was like, I walked two miles and I had like three chapters left and I was like, okay. Let me just sit down. And so I sat down and I busted out the last three chapters. I finished the book. But I was at the gym for so long I ended up just hitting abs and then I left. If you haven't tried like reading and walking on the treadmill, it, it makes the time go by really fast. And you know, it's nice. You're just like kind of exercising your brain, you know? And you're getting your steps in, that's for sure. I'm gonna start the next book tomorrow. I'm a, I'm a book, I'm a bookie now. You know, I'm a, I'm a book reader. Um, I do when I'm like a, a mom. I, I would love to join a little book club. That would be so cute. Oh, uh, okay. And then it'll happen, but I'm sorry, I just I want another bite of the kimchi. I think it might be a little bit spicy. I mean uh hot like temperature. Sorry for being so the rice is done. I haven't had like regular ramen in a really long time, so I don't really I can't really compare it to it. But um Oh, this tastes really good. Like I said, it is... Ah! No! I wouldn't, like, incorporate this daily. But, you know, you know, a little treat from time to time. Okay, next thing we're going to do is cut some avocado. I think this one is my better choice. Okay. <laughs> when, the, when you get the seed on the knife like this, how do you get it off? That's one way. It, it, it's a little bit not right, but for the most part, it's good. I don't, I don't know. Ugh, why am I so bad at everything? No, I'm not. Why would I say that? I'm good at, I'm good at so many things, and I try so hard. Oh, should I have caught it that way? It's fine. It's fine. So far, this is looking like one of those people that eats all their meals off of a cutting board. That will never be me. I'm gonna say that and then I'm gonna pop out with a cutting board. And now we have the salmon. How to cut salmon for sushi. What I'm getting at is it's, I'm just gonna cut it kind of thin, like kind of like, like thinner and longer maybe, or just thinner, I don't know. It, at the end of the day, um, in the rolls it's gonna taste the same. Do I use a specific knife? Does it matter? I don't really know if I want to use this one. I'm just gonna... Oh my gosh, you guys, I've never done this before. Um, oh, the bones. Salmon! So first thing, I'm going to cut this off, I believe. As far as I... Oh, I can feel the bones. I cooked salmon one time, like myself. And um, I cooked it like just on the stove and it ended up terribly wrong. Like I was trying to eat my meal and I kept gagging and I was like, what? why am I being dramatic? Like I'm just, I couldn't do it. I'm not a picky eater. I like a lot of food and I'm the type of person, even if I don't like the food that much, I will eat all of it and get more. But no, I couldn't do it. I was gagging. It was so bad. I don't know what I did to it, but okay. There has to be an easier way. Okay, it's fine. I'll just... I'll just do this. It's, ah. Oh my fuck. I'm like manhandling the salmon. 
we're just getting that off there. I don't know if, if that's supposed to be eaten, so I'm just gonna play it safe and not. They said something about the white, not the white. How do I go about that? Like, how do I... There's like a lot of bones. Why is this so hard? This is why I like ground chicken turkey. I feel like it doesn't... And I'm trying to feel, make sure there's no bones, but there, it, there is. I don't know how I'm supposed to go about that, but... I'll just take them out of my mouth when I eat them. It's not pretty, but I did the damn thing. <sighs> now for the rolling part. So cutting the salmon was a complete fail, but don't worry. Um, this part, I don't know. I can make some rolls with like the rice on the outside and some with the rice on the inside. So we'll just do a variety. I don't necessarily remember how to do this, but I know one thing that I remember is you get your hands wet so the rice is not so sticky. Well, it doesn't stick to your hands so you can move it around. I also think that I'm supposed to have like plastic on it or something. You're watching a YouTube video of somebody watching YouTube videos. I guess that's like most YouTube channels, like reaction video. Anyway. How to roll, how to roll sushi. Cold water. Cold water. I didn't kind of recall. Yes, I know. It's not a flat side. Yeah, the same one. Color, and, oh. and lastly, a sharp knife. Okay. Okay, I knew it. Plastic wrap. Okay, so my only plastic wrap doesn't have the box with it anymore, I guess. So, vertical? What way? Okay, this way. Wrapping it. Three to four, did you say? Keep wrapping about three to four times, making sure that it's tight. Cut the wrap and fold over the edges so that the entire mat is sealed. Okay. This is, it just makes it difficult because I don't have the box with it. But, ugh! and I can't make it tight because it doesn't even have a... You guys, this is not doing good. No, my camera is not about to die right now. Okay, so we're gonna attempt to roll. I don't think you're supposed to use a full thing of this, but this is the first one, so I just need as much like room uh, as possible to roll. Um, so if you, you get your hands a little damp. This one, the rice is gonna be on the inside. Okay. Avocado. Oh, somebody's home. It's my brother, probably. I'm busy, so I can't let him in. And I'm just gonna throw some of that in there, and then I'm gonna roll it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm back. Sarah J. Mass, for you. Do you? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna try to roll this. We're so, gonna do this together. I brought you a book by Sarah J. Mass called Thanks. Crown of Oh no! Oh, it messes up so bad. And my girlfriend cuts my hair. Yes. I just thought I'd introduce myself. Oh, that's all. Sushi grade, huh? Sushi grade. Try to make it tight. I want your crowd to know that if, it, if this was my channel, we'd be deep frying the sushi. Yeah. Um, if you guys want a gourmet <laughs> cooking channel um, with both of us, we can make that happen. We can make that happen. This is not sharp. This is not sharp. Guys, I feel like, I, I feel like I'm on Gordon Ramsay. Okay, so my camera's charging right now, so I'm picking up my phone. He's making a roll with cream cheese. I'm just coming around to cream cheese. He's just coming around to cream cheese. Yes, everything is going okay. I, I end up messing up on a lot of, like, cutting it. I end up messing up, so I just eat it. So then I, like, I start with, like, eight pieces in a roll, and then I end up only having four because I ate the other four because I messed it up in the cutting process. So, this is a little update. This is what his roll's looking like. Um... <laughs> Any objections? I couldn't do long sticks of cream cheese because the cream cheese was impossible to get to, so I did speckles. So, so speckles. Okay, so, right, so like, I think you did too much uh, rice, uh, and you wanted to make sure it's like kind of out to the sides, but that's okay. Well, I used to work at Chipotle, so I could really. Pack. You never worked at Chipotle. <laughs> like this, I didn't really show you. I kind of just did it, and I'm sorry. For yeah, that. that's, that's, I'm sorry. That's what you do a lot of the time. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just tell you why. <laughs> this is sushi by Alex. 
Yes. This is so cute, she. Oh, it's it's real good and firm. You could be the cutting board if you wanted. You don't want people to dice a bunch of apples on you. Right. That's exactly what. Like, so that's like that's why. what I. Put. All right. Um, I put saran wrap over it and cut it, but I don't think that matters too much. All right, that one's. That, that one's the first shit. one. You know, it's not good. Second one looks promising. <gasps> not bad. You know, there's not much cream cheese in it, but. Bleep. Not much cream cheese in yours either. Yeah, there's none in mine. Yes. America would you, would you like, um, your sushi supersized? <laughs> oh, fuck. Sushi. Oh, okay. Welcome to sushi. This is our sushi spread. <laughs> this is the aftermath of our kitchen. Okay. <laughs> We made spicy yellow This mayonnaise. is Alex, yeah. This is my first couple rolls. You know, there's a little bit some some obvious errors going on, like the but anyways. And then this is this was my final roll. That this was good. a final boss roll, and I honestly I'm 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 proud of this. I'm hungry, so can we dig in? Yep. This is my <laughs> Recover, you got this, recover. Oh, this one's got cream cheese. I love me the cream cheese. Okay, everyone, we did it. We made sushi at home. And I'm just gonna get better and better. I'm gonna make sushi all the time now, so. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna get good at this, so mark my words. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all.